Well, good evening, everybody. That is great music, isn't it? What a way to get yourself pumped up on a Monday night. Okay. Let's just get ourselves half organised. And we shall be underway. It's great to see so many people on early. We do have a lot of information to go through tonight. We've had a few crazy days of getting to the bottom of some of the new info. I am excited about it, however. We'll explain that as we go through. I think we've got a great opportunity. So welcome everyone. Let's go through our usual. We are expressing our view as affiliates only. This is not company policy, nor do we represent the company Carrot Bars International. As we've said many times in the past, what we exchange with you is information we have discovered. We're not taking all of this information directly out of carrot bars. Some of this has been sourced from the companies where the agreements are in place because that's just where the company is at the moment. We have all got ourselves a tiger by the tail and that's a real cool place to be unless it turns around and bites you. But hey, this tiger doesn't have teeth. So let's have a quick listen to Miss Camilla about why we're all here. Hi there. Thank you for joining us from wherever you are in this beautiful world of ours. We, the team at Gold Rocks, are here to show you how to become a gold saver, which has far better return than traditional savings methods. Let us show you why you should get started today. When you begin saving, you typically have a goal in mind, whether it be buying a house, paying off debt, studying, starting a business, travel, or maybe retirement. We've always been told to work hard and save. The majority of us have only had the following options, maybe holding in your cash in an envelope, a jar, or a piggy bank opening a cash savings account to earn interest or applying for a loan. But that means debt and that's something none of us want to get into. Unfortunately, many, many people don't understand what saving your money by the traditional way actually means. Cash loses an average of 2% per year through inflation. That means if you saved $100 today, it would have the buying power of $90 in five years time. So then what if you put it into a savings account? The average interest rate across the banking system in Australia and New Zealand is 1% per year. So that $100 would have the buying power of $95 in five years time. A little bit better than the cash in an envelope, but you are definitely losing money. So question, what do they do that you don't do yet? The governments, the banks, and the wealthy, what do they do? Simple, they save gold. Robert Kiyosaki, who we all know as the author of Rich Dad, Poor Dad and Cash Flow Quadrant says, gold is money. JP Morgan, one of the most powerful bankers of his era, whose company JP Morgan Chase still exists today, said gold is money. Everything else is credit. And Alan Greenspan, the former head of the Federal Reserve, arguably the most powerful financial institution in the world, says gold is always accepted. And they are just a few examples amongst many, many others. So why gold? Gold gains an average of 15 to 20% per year. So what if you put your $100 into gold? Well, in five years time, it would be worth at least $175. Would you rather have $95 from your traditional savings account or $175 from your gold savings account? Next question, why choose our gold and why save with us? 
Our gold savings account is free to open and has no monthly fees. Our source is the global leader in small increment weights from 0.1 of a gram. And at the time of recording this, 0.1 of a gram was about 10 to $11 Australian. This makes gold accessible to all levels of income. No matter who you are, what you earn, you can now do what was once only available to those with wealth. And helping all people get ahead is something our team at Gold Rocks is passionate about. Our gold is 999.9 .9 gold bullion purity. It has state-of-the-art security against counterfeiting. And our source provides free storage until you choose to have your gold delivered to you. Getting started is as easy as getting back to the person who shared this video with you, registering your free gold savings account, and starting to save your money in gold today. We encourage you to do your own research and take all of the information we've shown you. And we look forward to helping you save your future in gold with the team at Gold Rocks. Be blessed. Thank you, Miss Camilla. So what's next? First thing you need to do is set up a free Carrot Bars account. It's got no fees. It doesn't commit you to anything. You can choose a customer portal or an affiliate portal. It is entirely up to you. Both of them are free. The difference is, as a customer, you buy gold at the full price. As an affiliate, you get a discount. You get open to open other income streams, and there's more products, and you can trade gold and crypto if you so choose. Now, let's just make sure we get all of this to the best of our ability because there are four key things that we hold dear to in carrot bars. Pay yourself first, establish a residual income, limit your tax exposure and stay ahead of inflation. Gold does all those things. So make sure you understand why we're doing this. If you'd like help with any of this, you'll find someone in your active building group that will be able to help you or they can get in touch with somebody at Gold Rocks and we'll help you do whatever it is that you choose to do. It needs to be your decision. The great thing I love about this business, particularly with what they've just released and announced, you can build this business yourself. Make a pot full of money without ever being a networker. So who are we sponsored by? We're sponsored by Easy Shopping Cards every week because they spend a truckload of money to make sure that we can do this. EasyShoppingCards.com, get your groceries from Woolies and receive 2% back in gold. Barbecues, yep, get a Barbecues Galore card. You need to have a Carrot Pay account because if you do that, you will get free gold from whatever you purchase on the ESC website easyshoppingcards.com and it will accrue in your account there. I know with everything that's been going on here, we have uh, quite a bit of software work going underway with what Carrot Bars have done. Uh, the delivery of that free gold into your account is going to take a while because of the eight week hiatus in Carrot Pay, but you will get it. Happy birthday, Harry. Mr. Lynn, is it your birthday? And here's some other merchants who give away free gold. BJS Urban Equine Fencing Solutions. I've heard that Brad Cerevalli is likely to give away a kilo of gold for every $5,000 worth of fencing that you do. I'm sure I heard that somewhere. It might have been in a pub somewhere. But anyway, Mr. Cerevalli, one of our merchants in Adelaide, ComChoice here in Brisbane, services Australia-wide with phone connections and phone systems. Skippy Pest Control, Mr. McCloskey, he just loves cockroaches and ants. And Love Day Vehicle Lubricants, can't speak highly enough of the oil we get from Mr. Doug. It works fantastically. Now, here's our member segment. So we are going to have 
Mr. Brent Dobson come on and talk us through some of the news. Are you there, Mr. Dobson? Yes, I am. I've unmuted myself and unfrozen myself because I'm sitting here with a blanket around me and it's cold here in, in Brisbane. Um, I don't know what's going on there. We had the coldest morning ever. But I am rather excited. Can you hear me okay, Mr. Miller? And hear you clearly. Okay, fantastic. All right. Well, welcome everyone. Yes, what, what, what a um, wonderful phase we're going through. Well, I just wanted to come on and, and say a couple of things about some of the releases. And I'm only going to talk about the things that I know and that have been released. Um, and in saying that, you've done a wonderful video on the weekend in the rather detailed manner that you do. Um, overview of the KBC Restructure V1. I think that's what it's called. Is that right? Yes, and we'll yeah. have that on the Gold Rocks website in the next 48 hours. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a great breakdown. Um, but Lee, I just remember there's going to be an awful lot of uh, information in the next few weeks. But I, I just wanted to, to say hi to everyone. Great numbers again tonight. You can tell there's some excitement. Um, in the team, you know, in, in the business and in, in carrot bars in general. They're sort of refining what they're doing. So I got my gold last week. That's the first thing I want to talk about. Um, recently, I purchased some of the, the smaller increments and we, we had a, a gold rocks um, emblem, as you can see up there in the top right-hand corner of the, the screen there. And I got some cash gold made up and um, we had some cards at the last live meeting and I'm looking forward to, to getting a few more and sharing them around. But I also purchased the 2.5 and the 5 gram classic gold cards and, and had them sent. And I see Roger, um, he was showing off last week with his 100 grams and all that beautiful gold. But you know, just, just confirming that, that we are one of the few companies that are de delivering gold at the moment. So that's exciting. Um, but a couple of things I wanted to reiterate, is, and, and you said it then, pay yourself first, Derek. I think it's so important that, what we do here is we, we set up the auto exchange and, and this is the first, I mean, because there are a lot of things coming out and there are a lot of things that are going to sidetrack us, but the most important is to set up your auto exchange and save at least one gram of gold per month. And I, I save five. Um, I started off saving one, but over time as I've introduced more people to this amazing business, I've increased it. And to get an actual five gram card and I know Ducky's got one I was looking at his the other day it's just it's just a beautiful car and it's a lot thicker and it's obviously a lot heavier and um, it's very exciting so um, yeah that's the, that's the, the thing so pay yourself first and, and and just tell others you know that's the very first thing I, I talk about whenever I'm setting anyone up so the two the two things that I've done since the announcements is um, the first one is the what we call the reduction program and the company will implement a complex and massive program to increase the value of the KBC. So, you know, when I heard that, I thought, well, okay, well, what's that about? They're going to burn some coins, you know, we'll see. All the nitty gritties will, will, will come out shortly. But, you know, to, to, to participate in this reduction program, you have a couple of options and you also have some time frames. So, you know, you do what you want. This is what I've done and this is what I'm encouraging my people to do. And I know, Derek, you agree, is I've decided to pop all my coins into the reduction program. Because if there's going to be less coin and I'm going to get 25% bonus and there is details of that in your back office, we know till the end of July it's a 25% um, bonus. It's a 15% through, through August, a 10% through September. And, the 15th of October um, is a seven and a half. So I, I've done all mine. I'm, I'm suggesting Amanda did hers the other night. She did it um, in about five seconds flat. So she's got her good friend Kay here tonight. We're going to do hers after the show. And Kay doesn't know much about the, the internet at all. And she'll be able to do it with um, one, eye, one eye closed and with one little finger. So that's how simple it is. Um, you know, so do that. Um, I've, I've moved them all. I had over a million coins. And, you know, to me, I think, well, this is where the company's going. They've finally got it right. Um, and so that's the first thing I wanted to talk about is the reduction program. And the other one is the, the pre-registration on, the, um, on the V999 platform. I think that's the next, next slide there, Derek. But 
Um, we all, again, it's, it's yeah, okay, questions. Uh, while we're there, I mean, and while you're on the, the line, Derek, is if anyone has any questions about specifically that, the reduction program, um, if you want to pop something in the chat or unmute yourself. Um, Put your hand Derek, up or unmute. Yeah, we're happy to, to touch on that. Is that, Phil? Is that a question, nope. mate? Or, 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 Doesn't look like it. I can vaguely hear you, Phil. Sorry, mate. Okay, can you hear me now? A little bit. A little bit better. Okay, we're just asking do you have to have a certain amount of KBC coins to play that game? Is yes. It? 10,000 coins is the minimum to get into the bonus program. But if you don't have 10,000, they'll still be put into the program. You'll still get the new coins with them. Okay. I'd be probably, if you don't have 10,000, I'd probably be trying to buy a few coins just to get above that so you can pick up the 25% bonus. There's a question there, Derek. Are the instructions anywhere how to do it? Yes, 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 there is. They are in the back office under latest news. Would yes, like there's to know quite more. a long description there. Yeah, we'd like to know more about the bonus program. I may be a bit slow. Val, that's fine. That's what Derek's for, okay? Um, you know, in, in all seriousness, there's, there's a whole heap of us that, that know a little bit more about this than others. Um, just reach out. We're not going to go through step-by-step uh, -step on this call. Mm. Have you heard anything, Brent, about what this side, program yeah. is to drive price? Wednesday, yeah. we'll do a run through and show you. Yeah. No, Brad, I haven't, mate. No, I don't know how it's going to work. Um, I imagine they're going to burn a heap of coin, but I'm not going to guess, mate. So I don't really want to talk about that just yet. Um, how many KBC value to the V999? You want to grab that one, mate? KBC value to the V999. Chris, I don't think you can do KBC to the triple nine coin. You can convert KBC into univals and one unival is one coin. So you can work it out that way. Yeah, I suggest Chris, just have a look at that, that video that Derek did on the weekend. At this stage, I think it's the, the best information that we have. But there is a lot coming, and each Wednesday, corporate are going to talk about that. Um, so that's pretty cool. All right, so that, any more questions, we might sort of just um, answer them as we go. So the, yep. the next stage is uh, the, uh, the registration for the V999. Uh, okay. Just hang on a sec. Vivian, there will be a link on the Gold Rocks website. We'll send that out by email. And, yeah, make sure your KYC is up to date. In your carrot account, as Jan has just said. Yeah, very true. Thanks, Jan. Yeah, so the V triple nine platform um, rollout. You know, again, this is all in the back office, and this is something that I've done, and I'm suggesting that everybody does because this is basically we have till the end of the month to um, in the beta stage. I imagine that's just pre registration. Is that what that means, Derek? Yes. Yeah, and. Um, Basically, it's it's a fairly simple process. Um, you do need the instructions that are in the latest news in the back office because it'll ask you for some, um, the, yeah, the one, two, three, that's right, that, for uh, usernames, passwords and, and the likes and those, there are some simple things there that we need. Roger said, I watched Derek's video today and I am doing the same as Brent here. Yeah, thanks, Roger. Well, you're my mentor, mate. So, um, so what, what I've done and what, what um, a few of us have done on the weekend is is basically registered now, Derek. I think you said you're you're through and you're you're into the site. With my KYC is a pending, so I haven't seen that. But what what stage are you at? You, can you elaborate a little bit on the site because it looks pretty good. Mine have all been approved, uh, and yeah, as Brad Cervalli just said, Janet, tick the box that says you don't have an ID, and it it will go straight through. Yeah. So that, that to me is, is really important because this coin, I think we got it now. Why am I doing it? 
it's a gold covered coin it's a security coin and then we have the opportunity for earning 0.2 percent fees for life um this advantage i you know might just be for a month i'm not sure it's probably going to be until it rolls out in in uh, in october but how do we do it we just and this is the other thing about i should have mentioned there paying yourself first the other thing i'm doing you now quite a few of us that are building teams will are rewarded each month with with free cash goal yeah zero point Zero point zero two percent. Yeah, that's uh, one yeah, quick thing about the KYCs that. on this website: the documents that you upload have to be less than one hundred k in size. Oh, great! Don't, absolutely, yes. Don't believe what it says about five meg or one meg. They absolutely will not upload until you get them below a hundred k. Yeah, and there's a process you can re, you know, resize them or something. I had a man to do that. That was too hard for me. But yeah, good point. Um, so the site, um, basically at this stage, once your KYCs are done, all you can really do is, is save in cash gold. I, I'd imagine, is, is that what you're, you're telling you know, your guys, Derek? I mean, we don't need them on carrot pay. I believe we, we don't have to wait the eight weeks. It's just to accumulate some cash gold, whether you do it through building a business or, or purchasing it in the, the back office yes. uh, under right purchase and gold products. Would you would you agree with that? Yes. Okay. So and got... Hilda, no, you don't have to have testimonial KYC before you register with V Triple Nine. It's a different website, so you will do your own KYC on that website. Stephen Reed saying use tinyjpeg.com. Okay. Great advice. Doug Love Day is on here bragging that his were bigger. <laughs> Can't imagine what he's talking about. I looked at version triple nine and it said a trial. Is that how you register? Yes. Put on the instructions over the weekend that in, I don't know what brackets is, where it will be adjusted every day. The 0.02% stays the same, but it will be calculated daily. And um, Mr. Wilson has put his hand up for resizing docs. He's a bit of a okay. guru in this area. Yep, so good. Greg's really happy to help anyone. Um, so there you yes, go. So it's pretty, pretty simple. Cool. And it was Dougie. Yeah, I thought it might have been. <laughs> Dougie's got the new hip yeah. now. He's, he's unstoppable, isn't he? Yep. Uh, Brad, I have no idea how to check it. I uploaded mine and while I was wandering around trying to find out how to check my status it logged me in so i was good to go yeah i don't know either brad I'm, i thought i think i've done all my kyc's there's, there's only a couple isn't it it's just a, similar to carrot bars it's a passport yep. a license and an address proof of address so we need Do we need utility, utility bill, bill. Yeah. Uh, yeah, or a bank statement and a passport or driver's license. That'll That's work. all you need, Well, Two things. Okay, Derek, I'm going to hand this back to you. I, I, I just wanted to to, to uh, mention those those couple of points at this stage. We, we've got a lot coming. Yes, I'm really excited. I know you are. And um, we can't wait to, to once the, there's more of a rollout, to, to break it to the team. You, know, you guys are fantastic. We appreciate it. We've got fantastic numbers again here tonight. And it must be, if it's cold here in Brisbane, it must be freezing down south. So, um, amazing effort. I'll hand it back to you, Mr. Miller. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Dobson. And just in answer to one of those questions about is it adjusted daily, the price of the gold is adjusted daily. I'm sorry, I may have misunderstood the question that I answered before. So, the price of the gold, if you own a V999 coin, it's one Unival, a tenth of a gram. And that will, uh, the price of that is adjusted daily. So it's a, it's a great thing to hang on to. So let's, let's have a little bit of a look around in the rest of the news. If you've got a node, I know Mr. Cerevalli is here. He has a couple of nodes or super nodes, not sure which ones they are. If you have one now, 
you'll stay on the current blockchain and they will give you an application form to apply for the transfer onto the new blockchain. So I would have thought that that would have been done automatically, but apparently not. Let's just hope that that goes smoothly. So they are working on all of these processes right now. The proof of stake, if you don't know what a proof of stake is, it's somewhat like a node where you control a chunk of the blockchain, but you commit some coins and that becomes the proof of stake. It takes those coins off the market and you get paid similarly to a node or a super node. So you will get an income in KBC from that network and from that blockchain and you become a part of the process. So it's another little residual income stream that we get access to. And the vault, the vaults will all be phased out, but the programs already running will pay out the required gold at the appropriate time. So if you started a vault a month ago, in 11 months, you'll get the gold from that vaulted program, but your bonus univals will be credited as KBC for the bonus program. And you can see already in the carrot bit system, they've got a button over there for creating the reduction plan. So those vaults will be converted back over into KBC, put into the program, but the gold from those vaults will come back in however many months it is that they're due. Don't they go to the V999 coin? They're talking about converting them to V999 coins as well, Brad. So we're just waiting to see what the outcome is, whether we select conversion to the V999 coin or whether they automatically will go there. Uh, the bonus univals will all be converted to uh, the new coins. Seven bonus univals, one security coin. So if you keep getting confused about security coin or V999, I've tried on this presentation to put both names on there because it's the same coin. You just need to pay attention to that. If you has existing QR codes like I do, they're going to resume those QR codes and convert that gold that's in those QR codes into the new coins. So one QR code for a gram will get you 10 new coins on the new blockchain. And the IPO vouchers, I know we all, or most of us, selected a percentage of our coins to go into the IPO for the bank. Those are now coming back to us and will come back into the bonus program. So I've not seen anywhere where they've spelt out when that will happen, other than it pretty much has to happen before the 15th of October. So let's make sure we all know what we're doing, pay attention to the little details. There's a lot of stuff happening at the moment. Uh, we will also send out an email with some research links, a great link that Jan found the other day on Binance. And by the way, we will get a very close relationship with Binance in the coming months. And I particularly like that because it's the biggest portal on the internet. They've just bought another reporting portal for about a billion dollars. So they're not small. Do I know what happened to the IPO? No, Brad, I haven't heard. But I'm figuring that it went with Joseph Height wherever he went to. Finally, the crypto bank. November 1st will open the doors. So they've been a long time getting there. It will have its own crypto card. And once again, this is another really, really positive thing. This card will tie to not only your cash on hand, but at the, um, it will tie to all of your assets, your cryptocurrencies, if you've got Bitcoin, Ethereum, whatever, cash in your wallet, all that sort of stuff, this card will tie to all of that. So you will have instant access to all of it. 
this is a really, really good step because it's one of the questions I constantly get asked, what happens if I want to sell my assets? And yes, you can do it right now. It's a convoluted process for some of it, but you absolutely can cash it all in. This makes it really simple. It's a credit card type service. You spend off what you have in your wallet. It's a very, very good move that they've made. So you can use the card for quite a bit of stuff. Uh, it will be an offline wallet. It will store your Bitcoin, Ethereum, et cetera, in the card. You can redeem your physical gold and crypto. Now this text came straight from the company. So it says you can redeem your physical gold by using the card in our ecosystem on our gold merchant. Now I've sent off emails. I've sent off all sorts of things trying to find out what is our gold merchant? What is that actually supposed to mean? So clearly there's a way to link this card to your physical gold as well. You can set up gold based or crypto savings plans. Uh, you can log in now with this, uh, because the 2FA, the code that's on the card, will operate similar to Google Authenticator. And I saw a question go by before, what's an e-paper display? It's a black and white liquid crystal display like paper. So they call it e-paper. It only does black and white. It only does text. So you can get it to display codes or to key in information. A crypto bank, well, this is another great thing. It opens up completely new functions and possibilities for you and our community. The exchange of crypto, physical security of crypto, and it lets you deal with it live. So it's a really, really nice tool. So here's our usual market warning. Banks don't like us buying gold or cryptocurrency. Heritage have now officially made the statement in the market that they have will stop all, all transactions that may involve cryptocurrency. I had it happen to me just a few days ago. I tried to buy $200 worth of cryptocurrency using my Heritage card and it just would not go through. So when I called them, they said, no, it won't go through and you can't unlock it. We will not allow that transaction. That's really interesting when it's a debit card and it's my money. Yes, how quickly can we line up to get out of the banking system? So be aware, not afraid, we got gold baby and even our own government's trying to stop us doing this. So here's a little video. It's about 10 minutes long, but what I like about it is it's specific to Australia talks in general about the rest of the world, but he mentions Australia at the end where I've cut it off because it's the bit I want him to listen to. This is Jim Rickards talking about the world economy, and this was recorded about two months ago. So let's just see how accurate he became. Hello and welcome. I'm James Woodburn, publisher of Jim Rickards Strategic Intelligence here in Australia. Today I'm joined by the man himself, straight from his self-sufficient mountain farm in New England, as well as our Australian investment director, Nick, Nick Hubble, zooming in from his bolt hole in London. Now, I, I requested this call because the crisis we are seeing is something that Jim has not only called years in advance, but it's also something he and Nick have been helping prepare readers for and position their wealth for for a long time now. So right now, the, the vast majority of the world is under lockdown, both physical and economic. Stock markets remain open as of today, Thursday, 2nd of April, although that could possibly change at any moment, uh, and we'll talk about the outcome. The health pandemic that sparked all of this was really the ele element of surprise, but the freeze on huge parts of the world's economy is actually something Jim warned about back in 2016 in his book, The Road to Ruin. So I thought, Jim, uh, let's start with you. Is this, is this the first stage of Ice Nine, do you think? 
Uh, it, it could be. We're certainly dangerously uh, close, and we'll, we'll have to watch it carefully. But just for the benefit of the uh, viewers, maybe I'll just take a, just a minute and explain what ICE-9 is. Um, it, it's an idea that I nicked from uh, um, Kurt Vonnegut, who uh, wrote a novel in the 1960s called Cat's Cradle, which I highly recommend. A little bit of uh, dark, uh, uh, we call it a dark humor, dark comedy. But uh, in Cat's Cradle, the, there was a physicist who created an isotope of water called ice nine it had the following properties um it was frozen at room temperature but if you if a molecule of ice nine came in contact with a molecule of water the water turned to ice and you had a small vial and if you poured it into a stream let's say the stream would turn to ice but then through contact so would um uh you know the rivers and then the oceans and then all the water on earth and then life on earth would die so it was a doomsday machine of course this was written at the during the, the height of the cold war when we were all worried about nuclear war um so what i did i took that concept and brought it over to capital markets and i made the point that you can close a particular venue if you have disorderly trading so let's say um the stock market's crashing the circuit breakers don't work and they decide to close the stock market well they can do that but it doesn't alleviate the demand for liquidity people will simply go over to the money market and say well fine i'm redeeming my money market funds so then you have to shut the money market funds and then it goes over to the banking system and people queue up at the banks and just try to take all the money out of the banks and then you have to shut the banks and so forth in other words there's a kind of financial contagion um to go along with our, our viral contagion that we're, we're facing now uh, where every time you close something the pressure goes to another venue and then it has to be closed and eventually you end up shutting down all the markets banks stock exchanges etc in the world at least temporarily until you come up with some kind of solution um so that was the idea um it's interesting to see that ice nine has now become part of the uh, obviously standard financial jargon I, I see it all the time um you know they don't credit me let alone uh, kurt vonnegut who, who came up with it but that's okay it's it's uh, uh it's it's useful it's more than a metaphor actually the math is the same and it has become uh, parlance so uh my book the road to ruin um, from 2016 uh, described this uh, uh, um, phenomenon my my latest book, Aftermath, came out last year, but this book, The Road to Ruin, interestingly, the uh, you know, like any author, I check the Amazon rankings every now and then. The Road to Ruin is selling uh, even faster than some of my other books, even though it's a few years old, because it does have this explanation of Ice Nine, which we just talked about. Um, and then people say, well, that will never happen. And I, I remind them, uh, no, the, uh, the New York Stock Exchange was closed for five months from uh, August 2000, uh, sorry, August 1914 to December 1914 at the beginning of World War I. In 1933, our President Franklin Roosevelt closed all the banks in the United States by executive order, all of them. Uh, he didn't say when they would reopen. In fact, they reopened about eight days later, but no one knew that at the time. Uh, they used the euphemism, the banking holiday. Well, it wasn't a holiday. It was, they were closed by orders. Um, in 2013, all the banks in Cyprus were closed. In 2015, all the banks in Greece were closed. People in Athens were flying to Frankfurt with empty suitcases, filling them up with euro, physical paper euro notes, and flying back to Athens because the banks were closed, the ATMs were shut down, the credit cards didn't work, etc. cetera. Um, and so all of these things have happened before. Uh, they happened under duress, under stress, but the idea that, uh, you know, th that would never happen is not true. And then all I've done is take that a step further and say, yeah, and it can be worse than that because they can be kind of closed down sequentially, at least until um, monetary authorities come up with a solution. So we're, we're seeing the very early stages of that. We've seen a couple of trading halts on the New York Stock Exchange. That's not the same as shutting the exchange, but we hit these circuit breakers. The floor of the stock exchange is closed. Now, I think most people know that 95% or more of the trading is, is robotic. Uh, so, you know, the computers are doing fine. But the floor of the New York Stock Exchange right now is closed. Um, I went to a bank the other day. It was closed. Now, there were other offices elsewhere. I can do online banking, but the banks are closed, not by uh, um, government order, but just because of the virus. So, so we're seeing it happen in certain ways. And uh, I think people uh, who assume it can happen take too much for granted. Well, you mentioned the 1930s there, and that, that was really like a, a, a proper shutdown from the highest level. So maybe I'll bring Nick hit here. And do, do you think we're we're seeing something similar? Is this essentially is, is this a bear market, or do you see a, a greater depression at play? And maybe Jim can expand on that as well after. 
Yeah, I'm going to steal Jim's metaphor, really. We're all looking up at the sky, wondering which snowflake is going to trigger the avalanche. We should all be looking at the snowpack, um, you know, looking at where the avalanche is going to happen, regardless of, of what the snowflake is that triggers it. And there's so many different things that could go wrong right now. Jim profiles them every month, every week. Um, we've been, you know, laying them out in front of readers for so long now. But what coronavirus has done is trigger all of them at the same time. They're all in play. Um, all of the things that we've written about, that we've researched and looked into over the years, they could all go wrong. And you know, chances are some of them will go wrong. And so in the end, you, know, you need to be looking at where the real threats are uh, other than coronavirus, and you need to be focusing on what the financial threats are. Would you agree with that, Jim? Yeah, I do. And uh, just to take it a step further, this, this is not, well, I'll, I'll speak specifically about the United States and Europe, but I uh, uh, good reason to believe similar things are happening in Australia. This is not a recession. This is a depression. So you, the, the truth, you look at 2008, uh, you can look at 2000 in the US when we had the dot-com crash. You can look at 1998 with the uh, long-term capital management in Russia. You can look at 1994 with the tequila crisis in Mexico. None of those uh, financial panics or drawdowns really uh, are the proper baseline for understanding what's going on now. You have to go back to 1929. You have to go back to the Depression and uh, the Great Depression. And I remind people that in the Great Depression, uh, the Dow Jones Industrial Average, our main stock market uh, index, fell 89% not 30% or 40% or 50%, but almost 90%. It was exactly 89.2%. That's what a, that's what a depression looks like. That's what a real bear market looks like. So our stocks are down 30%. Okay. That's, that's a lot. That's a lot of lost wealth. It's a shock to most people. I've heard of people getting their, uh, we have the, uh, these 401k plans, tax deferred savings plans, like a little personal superannuation fund. Um, and people are getting their monthly statements in the mail and they're just putting them in the trash. They're, they're, afraid to look at them. Um, but that's pretty bad. But but that's nothing compared to what happened in 1929. So down 30%. Okay, that's bad enough. But imagine down 40%, 50%, 60% or more. That's what we're looking at potentially. This is uh, one of the questions I'm asked most frequently lately is, um, you know, is the bottom in? Is this a safe time to, you know, kind of go back in the water and 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 buy stocks? And my my answer is absolutely not. I mean, yeah, you have a couple of good days, or little three day rallies here and there, but the, but the bottom's not in. This is just the first wave of repricing by the stock market with much more to go. Well, you mentioned the, the bringing back to, to to Australia. I mean, that the stock market here is down forty percent from the peak in in, in late February, uh, but also. Uh, Another record that Australia holds is that we've got the highest or the largest household debt in the world. Mm -hmm. And the lion's share of that debt is held by the banks. So what happens, perhaps that's a question, what happens when the financial freeze potentially hits the banking sector? Well, well, the first thing that happens, of course, is people just can't pay. I mean, you want to pay, you want to stay current, but if you have a large uh, debt, particularly in credit cards or um, you know some uh, auto loans or some other uh, asset category or borrowing ca- category, well, if you if you've lost your job, uh, you just simply can't pay it. Or even if you maybe still have a job, you're you're trying to increase savings or pay down other debts, etc. So then, at that point, the loss falls on the bank, and so the consumer is kind of you know they're, they're, that damage is done, but now the loss falls in the bank, and the question is how solvent are the banks? Now, okay, the um, the Reserve Bank of Australia can print money and, and bail out the banks if they choose to, although that's a pretty unpopular option. That happened in 2008. Australia was not as... So interesting that he got right to the end before he really pointed out about Australia. But he has done a number of webinar-type chat things where he talks about Australia specifically and we are already at the point that he's talking about and that was recorded two months ago so he's been right on the money it's scary when you look at how accurate some of these guys have been so let's look at the world news as I mentioned I just put a little flag up on that video evictions in America have hit their highest level in history. Now, this is even worse than 2008, where people were living in their cars and congregating in parking lots so it was safety in numbers. 
people are being kicked out of their houses because they can't pay the mortgage or they can't pay the rent. And the banking system is in deep trouble because there's no liquidity in those assets. Even if they resume the asset and take it over, then what? They've got to figure out a way to get their money out of it. So welcome to 2020, you tinfoil hat wearing aficionados, but don't panic, Jonesy. We are the ones with the gold and we have it. So here's what the market's doing at the moment. We're at 5.5% for the month. And yep, the top one, the day chart, it goes up and down a little bit because it's cycling along at a fairly stable price at the moment. But 20 years, 433%, 27.57 for the year. Find me another banking system, another option where you can get 27% yield a year and do it legally. And just do it because there is a lot of financial stress coming down the pipeline at us. And as that young guy said in that interview, everyone's looking up to see what snowflake is going to cause it. We should be looking down at the ice pack and deciding where is it going to give way. And I think it's the banking system that will happen first. So in the last 20 years, gold has returned more than 10% a year. So in 2031 grams was $450. Today it's 2,574. That's a tidy increase in value. And during that time, your cash has lost 54.28%. You decide which one you want to have in your pocket. And nowadays with the changes the company's making, we actually can spend our physical gold. We don't need to get it delivered and sell it. We can spend it with a card. So here's what Miss Camilla has come up with. I think it's a fantastic idea. She's put this together herself, a 90 day momentum run. This new change has changed the outcome of what we were looking for. We're no longer going to get a one time payout when we sell stuff. We now can develop a residual income from the assets that are in the system. We will get paid monthly for them. It's an amazingly better deal. Took me a few days to get my head around it. I did a fair bit of uh, walking around looking for a cat to kick, but luckily we didn't have one. But now I've got my head around it. I really like it. So here's what we need to do. Simple success system. The goal is to build your business and support one another along the way. It means you've got to commit to something and pushing through any barriers you come up against. And also means that we're all personally going to have bigger businesses and the team will get bigger. It's simple. Set your goals, print out the goals, PDF. There is a PDF. It's uh, currently available we'll send it out by email as well we'll do a promo for this by email with the pdf on it contact 10 new people a day 10 plus you can do it face to face phone call text social media just get creative it is going to work you need to make sure that you grasp the power of this there's an invitation process a presentation validation Get them on a three-way call. Get them to a presentation. Do as much as you can and get them in front of people. So here's the form that Camilla has built. It's really simple. Fill it out, sign it, scan it, send it to your upline director. It'll be registered at goldrocks.me. Follow your social media accounts and connect it to your goldrocks.me Facebook group. Um, Camilla has set up a closed group that we can do all this stuff through and she's really keen to run that. So get started on the 90 day plan. Anyone got any questions about that? I know Camilla is on the call. Yes, she is. So she can answer any questions if you have trouble. No questions. Okay. We will send out an email in the next two days with this plan on it and what to do and how to run it. Great. Now, don't forget, Saturday 31st of October is our King Ludwig 
Oktoberfest celebration. You need to let Carolyn know if you're going to come, please, please, please send her an email or a text so that we can keep track of the number of people. Mr. McCloskey has already started making down payments to lay by all the beer so no one else can have one. So I suggest you get your name on the list pretty quick. Uh, there will be further information coming out about this in the next few weeks. And here we go. We are allowed to start having meetings again. Sunday the 19th, we will have a get together at the Centenary Tavern and on the 26th of July at the Gold Coast, if there's enough interest. So let everybody know, let your group leaders know, get some people to a function. That's hey, Derek. We build a business. Yes, sir. I'm going to hand out a Gold Rocks card at that uh, lucky little price. Okay. So it's a welcome back. So you will, someone will get paid just to turn up. Excellent. So make sure you're at the 19th of July. Mr. Dobson's giving away a Gold Rocks card with gold embedded in it. So someone will get paid for just turning up. So make sure that you get that on your calendar. So thanks everybody for coming along. Do we have any other questions at this point? Anything at all we've talked about tonight? Can these meetings still be Zoomed to us Southerners? We'll attempt to do that, Janet. Yep, Has we'll anybody else received a, um, a follow-up to the Z999.io registration? Because it was promised um, within 24 hours, but mine still hasn't arrived from the first day. No, I haven't got one. Um, I just registered and went in there and started playing around, Steve. Yeah, on that registration page, uh, after the after the submit, it said you'll be um, uh, sent an email within 24 hours. Brad Cervalli says, it says the account will be unlocked within 24 hours. So, okay, we'll check that for you. Okay, thank you. Okay, thanks, Steve. Anything else? Thanks, everyone, for joining us tonight. It's really good. It's great to see people getting on early and getting going. Uh, I'm, I'm really excited by this new residual. Can we get a copy of your video? Yes, it will be on the Gold Rocks website, Phil. We'll put that up and we'll email it around with some information uh, within the next probably 24 hours. It will go out to everybody. Thanks everyone for joining us. We hope you've had a good night. We hope you've had a golden night and we will see you on the golden beaches of the world. <laughs>